This is the video um, for Unit 1, Lesson 4, Function Operations. Um, the goal of this section is to do operations with functions. Um, so we're doing a lot of algebra where we're um, doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division with functions. And then we're also um, simplifying um, functions and evaluating composite functions. Um, so first, let's start with our um, function operations. Um, so uh, when we talk about a function, um, we're used to seeing things like, you know, y equals maybe 3x plus 5, like a linear function. Um, we, a lot of times, instead of y, we'll write f of x, which we've seen quite a bit um, in other topics. And so what we're talking about is what happens when we have more than one function and we want to perform an operation. So if I have, let's say, an f of x and also a, like a g of x, let's say g of x is um, x plus 2, um, what happens if I add those two functions, subtract those two functions, multiply, and so forth? Um, so really it's using a lot of skills that we um, do in the beginning of algebra where we're um, adding and subtracting like terms or multiplying and distributing. So our addition property says that um, if I'm adding two functions, it's really just the same as adding the expressions that go with it. Um, same thing with subtraction. If I'm subtracting, I'm gonna, just gonna subtract those expressions. If I'm multiplying, I'm just gonna multiply those expressions. And if I'm dividing, I'm just dividing those expressions, right? So it's really just, we're really just learning a new way to do this or a notation and how to write these operations. So for example, um, if I, let's say, have that f of x is x plus 4, g of x is 5x minus 12, and then I have h of x, um, we can use these now to solve all the questions that are below. Um, so remember, the u tries are actually... Um, there's actually three of them. So this is the assignment. So you want to make sure you, you do that on your own. We're going to check it in. Um, the rest of these, for these three um, on to the left, we're going to kind of work through those. So there's one thing that we're going to do for this first one is just evaluate. So it's saying, what is g of negative 4? So we're going to identify our g of x. That's the function we're going to be working with out of the three. And if I want to find g of negative 4, um, that doesn't mean g is multiplying negative 4. Um, g is the function, right? Uh, we're actually just substituting in a negative 4 wherever I see an x. So if my function is 5x minus 12, in place of that x, I'm writing in uh, that negative 4. And then from here, it's just evaluating. So if you have your calculator, you can easily just substitute, put that all in your calculator using parentheses. Um, so if I do 5 times negative 4, I'm going to get negative 20. Subtract, I'll get negative 32. So g of negative 4 is actually negative 32. Uh, the next one is just doing subtraction. So if I look at, I have here, so f minus g. Uh, that's the same as, say, my f is x plus 4. So it's the same as f of x minus g of x. Um, f of x um, is um, x plus 4. Uh, it's having me subtract. And then I'm subtracting uh, 5x minus 12. So notice I'm using a parenthesis. Um, just so you remember, these are just the basic rules from when you guys first learned algebra. Um, you have to distribute that negative. So the whole term is, the whole expression is being subtracted. So you have to distribute. And then you're just simply combining like terms. So you would get this to be um, negative 4x uh, plus 16. So when it asks for what's f minus g, you would tell me the answer is negative 4x plus 16. Finally, the last one is talking about f times g, right? So this is the same as doing um, f of x times g of x. Um, like we already saw, f of x is x plus 4, 
g of x um, is um, 5x minus 12. And then now we're just going to go ahead and distribute. So I'm going to distribute my x. Um, you may have learned this before, even call, being called FOIL, but it's really just doing the distributive property. So x times 5x is 5x squared. So remember, you're adding those exponents when you're multiplying. Um, x times negative 12 is negative 12x. And then I got to distribute um, that second term. So I'm going to distribute my positive 4. Um, so I would get 20x minus 48. And then just combine my like terms. So we get 5x squared plus 8x minus 48. And this would be your final answer. This is what um, f minus g equals. The next topic we're going to look at is talking about um, composite functions. So what happens when we have a function evaluating another function? Um, so when we talk about a composite, you can see it written a couple of different ways. Um, so really it's like saying what's f of g of x or g of f of x. Um, so we're basically substituting a value into multiple functions or an expression into another function. So um, if we look at this example, same idea, right? We got three functions that are given here. Um, the two u tries, like we've already seen, this is what's due tomorrow. So this is your assignment. And I'm going to work through these for last two. So this is the same as saying g of h of negative 3. So what that means is we start from the inner part first. And we first want to find out what is h of negative 3. And that's going to give us a number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that part first over here. So if I do h of negative 3, well, we want to see what h is. And we actually have here that h is x squared minus x, right? So h of x is x squared minus x. And that's based on what you see on your, um, in your notes right here. I'm getting it from right here. And so when we substitute that in, um, I want to use a parenthesis. So remember when you square, you're going to get a positive uh, number minus. And I'm going to use parentheses for both so I don't mess any, you know, we don't make any little mistakes. So this ends up being 9 plus 3, which is 12. And that's not our final answer, though, because if we look at the original we had, we had g of, and then the part that we just solved for, h of 3, we just said was 12. So that little 12 is going to now, um, is now like the next part of our problem. So now I got to find what g of 12 is. So if I look at g is 10 plus 4, 10x plus 4, I'm going to put in um, 10x plus 4. And I'm going to get this to be 124. So what that means is g of h of negative 3 is 124. And that would be my final answer. The last example, you're going to see there's not a number, but it's still, it's still the same thing. So we have here that um, h of x is equal to x squared minus x. We have um, f of x is a 3x. And so the question is asking then what is um, h of f of x? Okay, so basically what's happening here is we already know f of x is 3x. So kind of like we saw here when we said we knew what it, what it already was and we just substituted it in. So uh, I'm going to rewrite h of x now. So we said it was x squared minus x. And I'm putting in that 3x in for f of x. So you're just substituting one expression into another expression. So I'm going to put 3x here. Um, when we square a monomial, you might remember from uh, math uh, 2, we're going to do 3 to the second, x to the second, minus 3x. So 9x squared minus 3x. And then um, that would be our final answer. So that's going to be the expression for h of f of x.
And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, you can um, ask us questions in class, um, get help during T-Bowl time, or um, go to the center.